Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack here on our 2016 Winnebago Spirit Motorhome. Now this is a platform style bike rack holding the bike in these trays and primarily by the frame with this frame clamp right here. Because it makes frame contact, we do want to avoid our carbon frame bikes, but with the way this clamp actually rotates 360 degrees, can slide up and down, we do have the freedom to use alternative frame bikes on here worry-free, as opposed to the hook style of frame contact. Now it does have a 35 pound weight capacity per bike, so just stay within those limits and you should be all good. It is motorhome approved, which is great. You wanna make sure your bike rack is built to spec and tested for that use, and this one is. Now you don't have any sort of tilting away features, so we can't get to this compartment back here with the bikes loaded, but we can get the bike unloaded to do that. Basically, we'll start with our wheel straps. We've got gray buttons right here that we can push in and release the ratcheting straps. We'll do that for either wheel. These are just our secondary points of contact, keeping things nice and secure. And then with one hand on the bike, we can do the same thing for our clamp up top, just held in with that strap. It is a little tricky to do because you have to hold on to the bike while you do this, but definitely doable. We can kind of just swing that out of the way and then grab the bike and lift it up and over that mast. Luckily, that's not a super big center mast, so it is a little bit easier to work around compared to some other options out there, but it is still kind of in the way. There are other options out there, like the Sarah Super Clamp HD, where you don't have to worry about that, though. And then I like to replace all of these straps, except for one, which you'll see why later. I can actually, from this point, fold this mast down We'll loosen up this hand knob right here, enough to swing this plate out of the way. And then we can just fold the mask down. And I like to use one of those straps to actually just strap it down. This will keep it from popping up on us because there's no lock otherwise. So then it's nice and secure. From here, if we need access to our basement compartment, we can get it. And I like to take some time to get some measurements. We'll start off with our ground clearance. You can see we kind of have a reverse U shape here giving us 21 inches of ground clearance at the back end, which should be plenty for our motorhome here. And then for distance added to the back, it is gonna stick out about 24 inches. That does stick out a fair bit, so you just wanna keep that in mind when you are driving around and parking. But when the bikes are unloaded, if we wanna leave it in the hitch, we can. We can just come to this hand knob here, pull the clip out on the other side. Our clip has gone missing after being down in the shop for a while, and we can, fold it upright and just realign those holes and install that threaded pin. The threaded pin kind of acts like an anti-rattle device and stabilizes that pivot point. So it keeps everything really secure. And then with it folded up like this, it'll take up a lot less room, only sticking out about 10 and a half inches. So it's a lot more manageable. Down here at the hitch, we can see it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube but it will also work with an inch and a quarter if we remove that adapter sleeve. So if we have a vehicle at home we want to use this on, aside from our motor home, we can. And it comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt, keeping things locked up and secure in the hitch. And overall, if you're looking for a pretty entry-level bike rack that will work well with your motor home here, the Destination's a great option. It's going to fit with a wide variety of bikes and be pretty secure on the road. Thanks for watching.